morning guys, it's Mel, so I'm waiting for this start up, it's like a little bit delayed, um, and I wanted to make sure it was recording. So, it is 6 a.m., um, and the kitties are sleeping, my husband just left for work, so I am wanting to get this video out there and done so we can get this started. So I thank you all for your patience. This is going to be, um, it's a closed swap now, so everybody who has mentioned anything in either the first or second video, um, I have you in here. So what I need you to do is basically, um, if you're still interested, listen, after listening to this video, which I'm going to go over a lot of things, um, and you're still interested, I just need you to reconfirm um, your spot in the swap. If you don't do so, I will assume that you don't want to be included. Um, I need you to do it as soon as possible only because I want to get this started. I may even try to contact you if because I know you may not see this video um, right away. Um, and I don't want to, you know, not include somebody because of that. But um, if you do see it, just to make things easier, please leave a comment below and just say I'm in. And then also there's like a little bonus thing at the end. Um, if you're interested in that, you know, also include that at the same time. So let's just go over some things. And of course, if anybody has any questions, you can private message me. Um, also, I'm going to try to put <clears throat> I'm going to try to put a link in here, I'm not great at these things, on how to private message because some of you may not know and I don't know why um, YouTube has made it so difficult. It was difficult before and then they really made it crazy to have to go to your video, uh, to go to your channel, then video manager, then community, then to inbox, then to private message. Like It's crazy how you, what, you have to skip around just to get to your messages so I can see why someone get lost. So anyway, let's get started. So. Um, this is for Mel's 2014 Christmas tag swap. So this is, um, I have everybody that, you know, when I just was putting some feelers out there to see who would be included, I had to keep this small and I'm trying to make it a little easier, um, as I've hosted a lot of things in the past, but I've had to where I've had to, it was a lot of work for me where I had to, you know, have everybody's me um, addresses together and then private message everybody and make sure everybody got it and then resend it and resend it and resend it. So I'm trying things a different way. So please listen to everything before you um, agree, and I hope you're still in. Okay, so I wrote these notes down, and I'm just going to go over them as it will help me remember all the points. Um, so there will be anywhere from 10 to 20 people in this group, including yourself. So 20 at the most. And this is at the most. Um, so at most, you will be required to make 19 tags um, to send to me. Please wait to hear the exact amount in the future video. So this is if everybody, and there's a couple of us, I have a list down below um, of who's in this. Um, actually, let me skip down to that now. I should have said that in the beginning, um, just so you're, you know, you're watching, you're probably curious. Okay, these are everybody who's inquired to me. If I forgot you, let me know. That's why I left a couple like extra spots just in case. But we have uh, Miss Darla G, which um, I already spoke to you. Um, and thank you for all your help, by the way. And then we have Miss Latanya um, Palince. Uh, I can't say your last name perfectly. I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of your names, but you guys get the idea. Um, and just watch to the end, Latanya, and um, let me know if it's still something you'd be interested in. Um, because I know you said you wanted to do U.S. only. Um, Miriam uh, Rivers, Tiffany Westbrook, M. Jones, the Nona of Four, um, Jacqueline O'Keefe. Autumn Hendricks, Scrap and Pink Lady, Delightful Company, um, Denise White, um, I, th I don't know if it was Crafts or it was spelled Carfs for Carfs Love Bentley. You guys know who you are. I'm sorry if I spelled these wrong, which I'm sure I did. Um, it was just a quick type. Mindy D. Lissy, um, Melissa1224, Jax, Intelligent Bella. And Michelle Holland, and I'm very happy to see some different names here. And I think it was M. June. She said this will be her um, first swap, and she just cleaned her craft room, so she wants to put it to use. So that's exciting. So um, okay, so now let's go back. So those, if you're watching, um, just this way you don't have to wait till the end to hear if you were, you know, announced or not. Um, so out of these people, I need you all to reconfirm at the end of this video if you're still interested. Um, and just let me know. Even if you're not, just let me know that you're not. Um, and then that way we, I don't have to message you and just make sure you saw this video. Okay, now. Um, so 
just that's why I'm saying wait to hear the exact amount in a future video. So once I get everybody's confirmation, I can do a head count and then I can I'll say it. But if you want to get started after you listen to this, if you want to get started on your tags, I would say make at least 10. There's going to be at least 10 in the group and then, you know, from there on I can tell you. Or you could just make all of them and then, you know, worst comes to worst, you keep them. I'm sure you'll like them and, you know, use them on your own gifts or things like that. That is up to you. So tags are to be any type of winter slash Christmas tag, including a to and from somewhere on the tag. Front or back is fine. So anywhere on there, you can get clever. You can put it on a back piece or an extra tag. However you want to do it is fine. Um, tags can be all the same or have fun and make a variety as long as you put your crafty soul into it. That's very important. Um, you know, I never, sometimes when I'm in my craft room and I start to get tired, when you start to get tired, you start to get lazy. And when I start to feel like that, I know it and I'll put it down and, you know, revisit it later. Because um, we've all had that feeling where we're like, things aren't coming out right and then you get stuff over your head and then you're getting sloppy. So then I just stop. So, um, and then it always works out better. And then I'm like refreshed the next time I go and I can do a better job at it. So, um so, yeah, that's all I ask is you to put your crafty soul into it. Um, for this swap, I will require all members to mail your tags to me. So this is a little different, so make sure you listen. For this swap, I will require all members to mail your tags to me, and packages must include a tracking number. Now, to get the tracking, um, you can talk to, you know, when you go to the post office. It's about a dollar, um, unless it's changed drastically. I think what I used to do, it was 89 cents. I'm sure it's probably changed a little bit, but I would say it's probably no more than a dollar if it is, you know, not far over a dollar um, and it's just a tracking number it's not like certified you don't have to pay for that because that's costly it's just to add the tracking number that way you can provide me with the number and if people are saying oh I mailed my package and whatever like this is way I can keep you know keep on it and find out where it is so um, about one dollar on, on your original package to me along with a self-addressed tag so this can be, if you happen to have one of them labels that I can just peel off a sticker, then great. But if not, it can be like a small piece of cardstock. It can be, you know, a piece of paper. I just need to, I'm going to use that exact thing um, on, your, on your return package back to you. So with your original package with your tags, you need to send a self-addressed address tag, including $6 to cover return shipping um, back to you. You can do this one of two ways. You could send shipping money over to me via PayPal gift or send the money tucked in your original package to me that will have the tracking number, um, whichever you're more comfortable with. I personally would probably just send the cash. It's not that much um, and um, in with your package, either tuck it in you know, a card or tuck it somewhere in there and I'll find it with your tags. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, you can very well, if you have a PayPal account, you can PayPal gift send it to me if you're familiar with that, um, if you'd like to do it that way. Um, the reason I say PayPal gift, because if you send it another way, it'll charge you and I fees. Um, your PayPal gift is just to send it to me so it covers your shipping. I think this will be easier instead of you guys sending a like we could do it, I've seen some people do it where they add the stamps and then, but we don't know if it's going to cover the shipping um, if, or if we got enough. Plus it's going to bulk up your original package to fold up a padded envelope to send back to me. Where I have a bunch of these and they are free from the United States Post Office if you're using their service. So I think it'll be easier for you. I'll, I have all these envelopes and I want to show this to you. So hopefully this shows up. This is what they look like. Um, I'm going to use one of these too. Most likely this one here this um, big flat rate envelope and it's nine and a half by twelve and a half so it's a great size it's a padded envelope I have a ton of these I even have some of these in my stash in my little shipping closet I have for when I send out racks and things um, but so this is what it's gonna look like just to give you an idea to gauge on size it's nine and a half by twelve and a half that way it'll um, safely um, fit all your tags plus um, I want you to stay tuned at the end for um, for my little uh, additional little bonus thing so, and then w that way it's flat rate, so if it fits, it ships. So it can't get too heavy, it can't get too, you know, where it's not enough postage, and also it's priority and it'll get to you faster. So I think that'll work out best. Um, so where was I? So yeah, so you just decide what's more comfortable for you. Like I said, I would just tuck in the like a $5 bill and a one, you know, and just put it in there. But I know, you know, some people aren't comfortable and I usually don't send cash in the mail. But for something like this, that's what I would do. But totally up to you. So find out what you're more comfortable with. And then that has to be in 
that has to be in um, before you send your package to me. Um, so that way I have everybody sh um, shipping. If you're doing it through PayPal, if you're if you're going to just tuck it in your package to me with your tags, then you know obviously it'll get to me when I need it um, to ship out yours. Okay, now this is very important. All packages must be received by me no later than December first, two thousand fourteen, or you will not receive a package. So, basically, what I said is what it is. If you do not send me a package, you're not going to get a package. And I hope this doesn't happen, and I hope there's not a lot of flakers and things like that. Um, that's why I'm doing it this way. If someone doesn't send in their tags, they're not going to get a tag from you. Um, so, like, even if they message me and say, oh, I'm late, sorry, this happened, that happened, it's just I'm not going to be able to send it to you. I'm going to send back any extra tags to um, the person, the original person who created them, and that way it won't hurt anybody. But I'd, I'm not, you know, I don't want to deal with, it's going to take me a while to um, separate, It's uh, that's what I'm saying, give me like a week turnaround time. That's why I have this deadline to be December 1st. That way, um, during that week, I'm going to divvy up everybody's tags and get everybody's packages ready and then just to go out. And they shouldn't take long to get back to you, like I said, because they'll be going out on um, flat rate priority. So wherever you are in the U.S. The only person that's an exception is... Um, Miss Mindy and I will talk to you um, separately on you know the details as far as you if you're still interested um, so basically that's very important um, to get that there and that's the deadline and that way it'll give me time to get them out so this way you know that's why I just reiterate this way if you do not send a package you will not get a package this will give you almost the rest of November, but giving yourself a few days to allow your original tag package, the one with tracking, to get to me. And I will get the packages packed and ready to ship within a week. If all goes well, I plan to either send your package out priority flat rate box or priority flat rate envelope, the small one. So I showed you a picture of that. So it should only take two to three days to send it out once it arrived back to you. So that's, a, um, that's very important. That's why I made that date. So it's going to give you a little bit over two weeks. Um, to get your tags done, so make sure you know you take the time to do it. I like to do them on the weekends. Um, that's my thing. I like to do. You know, if you have any extra time in the mornings and the, you know, and whatever. Mine's tough. I got to go when I can when my daughter's sleeping, my new baby. Um, so all up. This is another important thing. All update videos will be on my channel, so it'll be up to you, crafty friends, to check back in for any new info that may arise. I do this a lot. I do updates and things come up or, you know, I so I post videos. But what I'm going to try to do, if you go to um, Hearts1217 and go to my original page of my channel, I'm going to try to create a playlist just for this tag swap. So that way, and I'm going to number them. Like even the ones I already, the videos I already did, um, just to do like the, the call. Um... That way you can make sure, I'll read this, I will try to create a number playlist, especially for the swap on my channel, for you to keep track that you are up to speed. So that way you can say, wait, did anything else come up? Or, you know. Also, if you have any questions at any time during the swap, feel free to PM me, but let me know in the video comments that you have sent me a message because YouTube, like I said, YouTube doesn't always alert me that I have a new PM and I don't want to miss anyone's concerns. So if you did send me a PM, just send me a message on any of these swap videos and just say, hey Mel, I sent you a PM and that will alert me to go and do the whole rigmarole you have to do to get to your private messages on YouTube. I know it's annoying. Um, if you don't know how to private message, I'm going to try to post that, like it'll pop up in this video, I hope. I'll put it in the annotations when I go to edit. And then you can click, because I did a video a while back, um, just doing a quick, you know, showing you how to private message if you didn't know how. Um, now, after hearing all the lovely details of this swap, I will need the following members to reconfirm that you have heard all the details and you would still like to be included in this swap as soon as possible so I can get a count of tags needed to create and also to PM you my shipping address to all confirmed members. To those who mentioned you wanted us, you wanted US shipping only, I was hoping this would still be okay with you um, and you will not be affected and your shipping right, your shipping price will not change or increase. Anyway, well, will not increase in any way. I'm sorry, it's early. Because we will have a lovely Canadian member or two in this group who will cover his or her own, her own shipping. So I know some of you, um, there's just a couple of you that put U.S. only. 
Um, and if you don't want to be in, I understand. But I also, you know, just want to point out that it's not going to change anything for you, like whether we did kept this all U.S. or not. And I like to include, um, you know, and Mindy, Mindy has been, and whoever else, and there might be one more, um, whatever. She has been in other swaps, and she um, has always come through. Like, she was very dedicated, and, you know, I like her to be in the swap. So it won't change anything for anybody. So if you're still interested, and I hope you are, just let me know. Um, and if not, it's not a problem either. We'll just, you know, keep you in mind for the next one. So now we're almost done. So one more thing is that um, as a little something, a little something extra, well, as a little extra something fun, if anyone would like to be included in a small crafty embellishment swap with me, please let me know at the time of confirming your spot, and I will include some small crafty goodies in your return package, and you can do the same when sending your tag packages out to me. So this is just something a little extra fun, um, and it's, like I said, it's just a little small crafty embellishment swap. And when I say that, I mean, like, either twine or ribbon or, um, I, my new thing is, and I only have two colors, is to get, like, see, I want to try sequins out and I know like I said I'm late on the train but I mean just small things like that and then I can include them in like if you decide if you say yeah Mel I'm interested still interested in the swap and I'd also like to do the uh, crafty embellishment swap with you and then I will know that when I'm doing my packaging and I'll include some you know some small little goodies to you out to thing it doesn't have to be anything crazy so you're not you know you don't have to go out and spend, like, you can even use what's in your stash, and I think that's fine because then we all incorporate a little different, you know, um, different items that you might not have, you know, near you, or, you know, just, you never know what, I, I happen to use a lot of the things that people even send me just out of nowhere, and I just, you know, save them, and it's, you know, kind of fun to have. So anyway, yeah, like, brads, buttons, um, anything small, um, ribbon, you know, small stickers, what else? If you're into Planet uh, Project Life, little cards, because we already have a um, flat rate shipping bag, so this wouldn't be any additional, you know, wouldn't cause any problems. So, as long as they're not huge, like 12 by 12 paper, as example. Um, so, anyway, so if anybody wants to be included in a small little crafty swap with me, just let me know um, once you confirm your spot and say, yes, I do, you know, want to be in the swap still. I'm, ha I'm okay with all the terms, and I want to be included in the small crafty embellishment swap. So, just put that in there, and if not, this is totally optional, this part here. So, um, it's not a must, but I just thought it would be fun. So anyway, I hope to hear from all of you soon, and let's have some fun. So if you are interested, um, you can comment. This doesn't have to be private message, but um, you, you can comment right below this video um, and just put, hey, Mel, still in, out of the people that I mentioned. And again, I'll go over them one more time. And it is Darla G, LaTanya, um, LaTanya P, I don't have her last name one here, uh, Miriam I don't know if it's Rivis or if, if that's an O. I can't tell with this um, text of this font. Tiffany Westbrook, M. Jones, the Nana of Four, which should now be five. Um, Jacqueline O'Keefe, Autumn Hendricks, Scrap and Pink Lady, Delightful Company. Um, Denise White, Crasper Bentley, Mindy D. Ulysses, um, Melissa uh, 1224, Jax, Intelligent Bella, and Michelle Holland. So again, excuse me if I spelled your name wrong. But um, I think you guys can figure that I, uh, I'm calling you. So um, any of those, any of all of, I need all of you as soon as possible so we can get this started to say yay or nay, you know, in the comments below that you're still in and any other details or questions you have. And I'm very excited for the swap. Sorry this got so long, but I just had to cover a lot of details. The next ones won't be so long. Um, and if anybody has any questions, let me know. And I'm excited to see your comments. Bye, guys.